Hi, my name is Will. I've been in four countries in four years. No, wait a minute. No, that's wrong. I've been in five countries in four years, and now I'm still traveling. So welcome to this video. I'm still in Cabarete, as I'm sure you can tell. I've been here for almost a month, and now I'm beginning to get my groove. In a new location, you need to learn the essentials to your well-being, like getting a haircut, going to the gym, where to buy your food, and how to move around. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and I am about to start my day by heading to the gym. The Wellness Gym is a great gym. First of all, it is centrally located, and one big plus, there's air conditioning. They have all new and modern machines, so you'll find everything you need to have a great workout. Their hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., and they're even open on Sunday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Their fees are 1,500 pesos a month, but if you're not in the area for that long, you can also do daily for only 100 pesos. Phew, that was a great workout. On my way home to make lunch, I came across a guy selling vegetables out of the back of his truck. This is a very common and convenient occurrence here in Cabarete. I walked away with a big bag of vegetables and only spent 300 pesos. I love it here. With the vegetables loaded into my bag, now I'm on the hunt for some fruit. And my favorite fruit is pineapple. And just for you to know, pineapples cost anywhere from 100 to 150 pesos. Crazy, right? Well, I'm hoping it's good. So we're gonna see. Okay. Get a quick taste and see. Smells good. Cut off a little taste. Taste test. Mmm. So sweet. So good. Mm. But one thing I want to show you with the pineapple. Do not just throw this away. This is very important. What you do is you take the top of the pineapple, you trim it very close to the top. Like this. Take the edges off like that. Leave just a tiny bit of the core. You also want to peel off all these excess leaves. Because one thing I like to do everywhere I go, I take from the country, but I also like to give back. And this is my simple way of giving back. So keep peeling all these off like this so that you leave just the center and then what you do is in order to also help preserve the planet i'm going to use a simple water bottle because here you have to buy a lot of bottled water because you can't honestly drink the water here so it's one of the safety precautions so what i did is i just cut off the top of the bottle like that added some water and then what you do is you simply take the top of the pineapple and you insert it into the bottle, just barely touching the water. Just barely touching. Actually, I need to add a little more water to this one just so I can show you a correct example. Just touching the water. Because what that does, that basically coaxes the roots to come out. And I have an example of one that I did two weeks ago that I put into water and look, just after two weeks, it already has roots and it's ready to go into the ground. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you exactly how I give back to each country I stay in. Do a simple hole and voila, we're gonna place the pineapple in there. Even though I think I may not stay here in the Dominican Republic, and we'll never probably taste the pineapple that comes from this plant, but at least I've left something that for future generations to enjoy.
heading into town because I need to get a haircut. You know, I gotta keep it clean for the videos. I found a place that was right around the corner from my Airbnb. Here we go. Now look, a new man. I'm heading home after my fresh cut. Looks good, huh? But I need to put back on my hat from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> there we go, perfect. I just got a text from my good friend, Ricardo. You remember him from the barbecue episode? He's on the beach kite surfing, so let's go check him out. Kite surfing has been a male dominated sport, but as you can see, women are beginning to show a lot of interest as well. We're gonna try and take public transportation. We need to get to Sosua, which is about 17 kilometers or 20 minutes away. So here we go. I believe it's called a walk walk, which is basically a, I guess it's kind of a little tiny minivan or a little tiny bus from Cabarete to Susua with only 40 pesos. Okay, now we're here in Sosua and we're gonna take the opportunity to try and find us some fresh fish. We heard there's a fishing village just over here, so we're on our way. Last time we were able to buy fresh fish off the boat was when we were in Las Terrenas because it's more of a European community there and you know how Europeans love fish. Again, as in all my videos, just take in nature and see what an amazing world we live in, truly. We got what we came for. So, what was it? Okay, the one thing that we did learn, it's always cheaper to get the fish from the fishermen. We paid a lot cheaper price here than we could have paid anywhere else. How much? Meaning, we got a three pound fish for 500 pesos. 500 pesos is what, 10 bucks? Yes. So there you go. So we had three pounds of fish. It's going to last us for days. <laughs> I mean, since you moved down there, how do you feel? Like everybody, we all feel great in the Caribbean. Why? Um, just because the attitude and the I guess the vibe is just like everything is just very, like I said before, muy tranquilo. What do you mean by that? Very calm. There is no hurry up to do anything. Um, how do I describe that? Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like button and smash the subscribe. Also, one other thing too, I hope you take the chance to plant something. Doesn't matter what it is, we need to leave this planet better for the generations to come.